Hey y'all, it's Des, Desiree Ina, the realtor here in this group. Talking about things that we're doing to um, raise, raise our, not necessarily raise credit, just what you're doing to prepare for home ownership. A lot of times, home ownership is a goal for everyone, right? But it's only as good as the work that you put in, right? Um, good, you're saving money. So that's awesome, you're saving money. One good thing, that a good way to save some money is, one good way to save some money is you know how much you want to pay in a mortgage, right? So let's say right now you're paying 1100 in rent. You paying 1100 in rent, but when you buy, you know you can pay 1400 in rent. You know this. So you will take that difference, which in that case is $300 a month, and start putting that to the side to save. So that becomes your saving and then you're getting into the habit of paying that, um, you're getting into the habit of paying that amount for as if it was your mortgage. So that's the way to save money as well as continue to build with your credit. If you're watching, just come on in and let us know what you're doing to become a homeowner. Are you just sitting there saying you're going to do it, you want to do it, and you're not putting in any effort? Is that you? Is that you? You just join join the group and you're like, okay, I'll just sit here and then it'll fall in place. That's not how it works. And don't be afraid to apply. Apply. That's one thing. One thing is you don't know your um what to do you don't have any idea until you just go in and apply and you save some money and then you you short on some funds or something like that uh okay so yeah you short on some funds if this is you if that's the case then you want to honestly if you have a family member that is going to get you funds that is okay too but there's a but there because um I always, always talk to you guys based on real life situations. Um, if you're going to get that money from someone else, someone's going to get you, they have to write a gift letter, letter, okay, to say that, hey, they're gifting you this money and you don't owe them back. That's pretty much, um, that's the first part of that. And then once you, um, once they send that, they will also have to provide a bank statement showing where those funds came from. Now, some people don't want to provide bank statements. Some people like, oh no, I ain't on a loan. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I don't want to provide a bank statement. If that's your per if that's the person that you plan on getting funds from, let's just say it's not gonna work already. Okay? I'm gonna just be upfront. Because they are gonna need to provide that bank statement. And it doesn't matter what lender you go to. Um, they're going to require that. Okay. Anyways, so what else? We're building credit. We are um, saving money, right? Do you have steady income? That's a big one. You do want to make sure you have steady income. If you get another job, you want to make sure that job is in the same field. Next step is applying. That's that. And right now, you cannot wait until a month before your lease is up. You can't wait two months before your lease is up. We need to be on this three to six months. Because if you apply at six months, and we know you're not ready yet, we at least have some time to get you together. I'm honestly, at this point, the way the market that we in, I'm going to say nine months. to get At least get in there to apply so we can know if we need to work on something or not. Okay, and then that way you will know if it's a year or if it's going to be another six months or if it's going to be three months, whatever it's going to be, at least you will know. Please, your DTI, your debt, you definitely want to make sure that you have low debt. Pay off what you can, pay it down. Um, it's always kind of hesitant or paying completely off because sometimes your score can have the opposite impact. Okay. Okay, so tips that we have today. 
low DTI. Pay down some of that debt. Pay it off so you can have that low DTI. Don't you go get no new car. If you go get a new car, sis, brother. If you get a new car and you pulling up to somebody else's apartment, somebody else's house, you in the wrong, baby. You in the wrong because what's going to happen is that's going to impact that DTI that we're talking about. And if you want down payment assistance, you definitely, definitely don't want to have a high DTI. Okay? So, DTI, um, get a low, low DTI. Even if you're doing credit repair, make sure you're seeing results. So, make sure you get, you're get getting results. Okay? Save. Tell me how much you want to pay how much you want to pay in a mortgage okay and when we say mortgage we're talking about complete package pmi everything included all right so we said we got y'all know i hate when i do that anyways so yes one two three um yes save the money save the money if you spend eleven hundred in rent you need and you want to spend for fifteen hundred in mortgage. You need to be putting aside four hundred dollars into your savings so that that can be going up, 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 up. Okay, so that you are saving money, credit, and all that. Cause what's gonna happen? You gonna be mad when your credit is good, and then you try to apply and you don't have no money. That's not gonna work. All right, y'all. Have a good night and. As always, if you have any questions, you can post them in the group or inbox me. If you're ready to discuss home ownership in more in detail, make sure you schedule a one-on-one with me. Y'all have a good night. Thank y'all for watching.